Hello, and thank you for joining us for this presentation of the MicroStrategies Deal Management Solution. Now, this is an overview, and as an overview, we're going to touch on the top four critical pieces of functionality for the solution. The first being feeding and populating the repository. The idea here is we want to make it as easy as possible for users to feed or populate the repository with their documents, basically get their documents in the repository with as little effort as possible. Second, standardize how documents are managed. The idea here is we want to make sure that there's consistency in the folder structure that's built out for each one of the deals because obviously consistency in managing your deals is critical. Third, automatically assign document properties. Every user wants to have document properties for searching and finding their documents, but nobody wants to manually attach them. So that has to be seamless. Four, quickly see available documents. This is the most critical piece. We want to make sure that it's as easy as possible for users to get access to the documents for that deal and even be able to see what documents are available for that deal. Again, quickly and easily. Now, when we talk about feeding and populating the repository, we talk about emailing in documents. It doesn't get much easier than this. A user can create an email. They would assign a subject, that subject being the deal name. They would address that email. Then they would attach the appropriate documents, say a pitch book or other types of marketing material or whatever, but they attach their documents. Once they email that document, it would go directly into Alfresco by virtue of the address. Once in Alfresco, that subject name, the deal name, would automatically be validated against the trading system. That's to make sure it's a valid deal. Once Alfresco validates the deal, from there, it'll automatically set up a folder structure. That folder structure would be based on the subject. So if the subject in this case being deal ABC, it would grab the template folder structure for a deal and it would assign deal ABC as the name and automatically build out that folder structure. Once the folder structure is built out, the next thing is to be able to notify the deal team because we want to make sure the deal team knows what's going on. So they'll receive an email notification with a link to that deal ABC folder. So basically, a user created an email, they assigned it a subject, the deal name, they addressed the email, attached the appropriate documents to it, emailed it in, Alfresco validated the deal, automatically built the folder structure, and alerted the deal team it's time to get going. Now, also talking about feeding the repository is working inside Microsoft Office. Everybody works inside Microsoft Office. Working in Excel, common practice. Now what we want to do is make sure that the saving of documents is as simple in the new world as it is in the old world. With this, you're able to save to Alfresco right from within Excel and you'll save it to the models folder. Not unlike people do now when they save it to a particular folder on their drives. But this time when they save it to the models folder, it will automatically assign the document properties, deal name, doc type, author, created it. All the user did was do what they normally do. They hit save. This time it's saved to Alfresco. They change the folder. They save it to that folder. And now they've got all these metadata fields that they can now search on, which is a key value proposition of any document management system, that ability to find those documents. And what you're allowing them to do is automatically have these properties assigned. And all they did was save it to the appropriate folder. Same concept on the Word side. Users can save their documents to the Credit Committee Minutes folder. When they save it from within Word, it'll automatically assign that doc type Credit Committee Minutes. As we travel down to PowerPoint, same exact premise. I'm sitting there building my pitch books. When I save my pitch book into the repository, similar concept as from the PowerPoint menu, save to Alfresco. I choose my pitch book folder. It'll automatically assign the deal name, which would be DLABC and the doc type, which would be pitch books. And now users can search for pitch books for this particular deal. Again, keeping this whole piece seamless to the user. Now, of course, that's doing your single documents. What if I've got multiple documents? Well, let's talk about dragging and dropping a bunch of documents into the repository. Here is a snippet from my Windows Explorer. I select four documents and then drag and drop them right into a folder called Data Room. You've got a deal here for Raptor, and then you've got the folder data room. Now, again, I dragged all four of those documents. The metadata or properties are automatically assigned. So just by dragging them into the data room folder, they'll have a deal name assigned of Raptor. They'll have a doc type assigned data room, therefore making it easy to find these documents later. And all the user did was drag them right in. 
What's really nice is you could actually use FTP clients such as FileZilla. These FTP clients allow you to basically drag an entire folder structure into Alfresco. So if you already built out your data room by virtue of unzipping a file and you've got that whole structure already sitting there, you can literally pick that whole structure up, bring it into Alfresco, and it'll automatically build that exact same folder structure out in Alfresco. And it'll, of course, attach the deal name and the doc type. Users are also able to quickly see all the available documents. How do they do that? From their users dashboard. So right here, Adam Storch is logged in. So you see Adam Storch's dashboard. In the upper left hand corner, you see the My Task List. The My Task List is where it lists all the workflows that have been sent to Adam Storch. So examples here are somebody routed a pitch book for review or perhaps a model, as well as when new deals come in, a new deal workflow can be created automatically, letting them know here's a new deal that Adam Storch needs to work on. So you've got the idea of the email notification as well as the idea of the workflow items in their task list. Now, finding documents. Over here, you'll see the deal document search piece. I just type in the deal name, and automatically all those documents available for that deal appear right there. Now, what's nice is all those doc types and subtypes and all this metadata you see here was automatically assigned. Remember, all the user did was save it in their office client or drag and drop it in, but now they can quickly see all the available documents. We'd be more than happy to provide you with a live demo of the entire solution. Just give us a call. We appreciate your time today. We hope you enjoyed the presentation, and we look forward to hearing from you.